figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tale of the day for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. side now throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home okay. early connection with the left from the champ The Superman punch. How about it? An outstanding job finding a place for that knee. 
Oh, Superman punch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Able to land there with the straight left. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Collar tie here in the clinch. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Oh, big left hook there. Back and forth we go. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh! Oh, big left. Able to check that kick as well. Slips the left. Just misses with the left hook. Solid leg kicks landed there by Lee. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Lands a beautiful leg kick. There's the horn, the round is over. You see there's a cut above his eye, sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in, he'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking ground. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack. Huge oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. 
big right hand. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land on. Oh! oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Right there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come on here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Straight right, he misses. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, nice. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Just over three minutes to go. second round he has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket well you can sense the corner frustration he has not had any answer for these body shots and now you see the visible damage well his coaches are wondering where's the defenses we worked on this we knew this would be an attack that they would come with why are you not doing what he's trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Well, oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was when his first test in elementary school. Under two minutes now in round two. Oh, I like that kick there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. His oh. nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready? You ready? 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, big left hand there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way this fight is playing out. Lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice job by him defensively there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. We march on three minutes to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, oh, right hand. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He has to change it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Lee. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Looking to land the leg kick now. He's got that jab working, nicely done. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Strong outside leg kick. He can't even, he can barely stand. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That's three rounds 
So we're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. And he lands a knee. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. He checked that last one. Hands high, hands high. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Come on, sneak that kick in there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, nice. He's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Lands with a knee. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the